Hello, hello, this is Camby Comer, and welcome to episode 39 of Camby Comer Plays Minecraft, and I'm here in my LP world on the server, and I've lost everything, including my beacon buffs, apparently, yeah, I lost, uh, lost a bunch of beacons and stuff, and, no, I'm just kidding, uh, what I did here is, I loaded up a backup of the world, because I got a little zealous with building my house and uh, yeah I didn't have any before footage so I loaded up this old backup uh, in single player here not online or anything I uh, don't even have permission to go to creative mode so uh, yeah I killed myself got over here and just wanted to show you guys this right here is where I've been working on my house so uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a replica uh, one to one or as close as I could get of uh, the house falling water designed by um, a very famous architect but we can talk about that a bit more later but with the magic of uh, I don't know <laughs> the magic of YouTube I'm going to uh, transition from here to the uh, actual newly built world so let's do that right now and here we go Alright, and here we are, uh, back in the multiplayer world on the server, and there is the house right there. Um, you can see I did uh, quite a bit of work, and we can go over there and take a closer look at what I've been doing. So, yeah, it's looking, oh, it's looking quite good, I think. Uh, I made quite a bit of progress. It's not a large build, uh, which is why, well... It's not a large build, but it is a technically fairly difficult build, which is why I did uh, I did it on my own mostly. Uh, I didn't really well, I didn't record anything, but um, yeah. So I've uh, yeah, like I said, I've done a lot of work, and we can take a look at it from a few different angles here. Finally, getting into using some Ender Pearls, as you can see made it a lot easier to build this uh, but the the big difference was really the jump boost my god did that make a big difference so yeah I've got it uh, perched on the side of the mountain you can see I cut out a bunch of land there whoops that was two ouch and uh, yeah not much to speak of in the interior for now and it's fairly cramped but uh, it's gonna be nice. I, I, the reason I'm really keen on this build uh, right now is because, you know, on the outside, I'm very constrained with how it looks. But because it's actually kind of built into a hill like this in real life, you know, I can extend back into the mountain, and I have lots and lots of room to work with back inside the mountain. So the next step for me now is to uh, is to work on terraforming here. So uh, you know, I gotta dig out some down here. Uh, this is where there's the house was kind of built on top of a, a waterfall. Um, so yeah, this house was designed by a uh, very famous architect, Frank Lloyd Wright, and uh, yeah, it's a well-known building. And yeah, it it was built uh, oh many many years ago. I think in the 30s, I believe. Let me tab out and read real quick. Yes, 1935. And it still exists today in uh, Pennsylvania, and yeah, it's it's just really cool. And uh, it was a real challenge to build at that one-to-one -one scale. Um, you can see I did lose some of the detail. Uh, the materials I did the best I could with what I have to work with, but um, yeah, I'm really, really quite liking it. So yeah, the next step, got to get some water in. I have to kind of. I have to do quite a bit of terraforming here, you know, I gotta kinda smooth out this hilltop. Um, back here the house is gonna kinda merge right into the mountain, but I still need to cut some out. Uh, back here is kind of a challenge, cause you see there are some windows on the back, and I retain those in my build here. Uh, so, uh, and you know, back here there's a bit of stuff, so I'm probably gonna have to cut off quite a bit of this mountain here um, but yeah we'll see we'll see uh, what I'm able to do with this so I think I'm gonna do some work on that and then uh, we'll be back
All right, well, I've done some terraforming. Uh, I'm about ready to put some water in there and see how that looks. So I got my buckets and uh, yeah, why don't we do that? Um, so yeah, it has kind of a waterfall underneath the house and I've kind of cleared out this area for the water to flow through. I'm taking a bit of creative license with it um, just from where the water flows and stuff. But we're going to see how this looks. I'm going to start up here. Whoops, that did not create a spring. Well, give me that back. We'll create a spring just over here. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Whoops, okay. Yeah, it took out a lot of dirt, as you can see. A lot of dirt. Okay, let's just get some water here, and we'll try this out. So we'll put one here, one here, refill see how this is looking so far okay that's uh that's sort of doing it um let's try one here i want to try to get it to spread out a bit maybe so uh let's see if i block this can get it going a little bit sideways there maybe like this try that for now let's take a quick look from down here that's not too bad. Um, it's it's doing something for me. Let's uh, let's try. Let's see here. Try to get it to spread. Oh, it didn't want to come this way. Uh, maybe if we do one more here. No, still no. Nothing, hey. There we go. Okay, we'll try a little of that. Um, Maybe a little further, and maybe we can get it going there, okay. Let's see how the water flow looks when I get rid of this dirt. Okay, is it kind of covering everything I want to? I'm not sure yet. That's yeah, not too bad. Um, it's going to obviously need a little bit more work, but uh, let's see. I want to get it coming that way like that a little bit okay that's getting it it's not bad not bad and uh... okay let me refill my buckets here yeah i think that's looking okay so far and we'll go get some water flowing from underneath the house too and then we'll actually get a waterfall here so uh... let's try here and here, we're going to get a spring this time. Yes, we will. And I believe, yeah, we're getting a bit of a waterfall going here. I want to get this going that way. Okay. Ooh, now we're, we're playing dangerous games now. Can, uh, oh, geez, get pushed off. Can I reach that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's try a little of this. Nope. No good. Refill. And we'll go here. Oh, I didn't get a second bucket. And I do want to kind of try to keep these separated just a little bit. So, uh, but I do want, I want it to flow sideways just a bit here. So, we'll try this other way, please. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And maybe we'll get it flowing that way too. Oh, I wrecked it now. Okay. Try this again. So we'll get it going that way. Okay. That way. And now straight. Okay. That should be alright. And I have no idea where this is flowing to down below. But uh, let's get refilled again here. And one more space over here. Simple one. Yeah, that... Uh, it could be alright. Um, yeah, I think maybe I should put some stone here just to give it a reason for it to be uh, kind of separated out like that. And uh, I think I might try giving this just a little bit of a nose like that kind of. And maybe this one have it sticking out just a bit too. Uh, maybe we'll come up a little bit with this one try that 
and that one is already a little bit okay let's uh let's give this a whirl here we'll hop on over there oh did I overshoot oh no I'm going down to the iron golem farm <laughs> yep all right we'll go back up and oh maybe we can get a little bit of a peek from uh I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too great with the uh, ender pearls, so maybe I'll just jump my way up here. We'll take a look from here. See how we're looking on waterfall. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, that's kind of not too sure about that down there. Uh, we'll maybe work on that. Um, hmm. Can I keep those streams separated? I think I could with a little bit of a little bit of uh, terraforming work there, but so far pretty happy with that. Maybe we can have one coming down the far side too. Let's take a look from on top of the uh Oh, that was a good shot. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm liking that. Uh yeah, let's take another peek from up there, I think. Yeah. See if we can get up that way. Oh, oh, that wasn't a good shot. Uh, is that going to do it? Uh oh, uh, undershot maybe? <laughs> okay. Oh man, alright. Try that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, whew. And that's not a great view even, but, uh,. Yeah, maybe we can have one coming off the side this way, but uh, I think that's doing something for me. It's getting there for sure. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> okay. Let's tr see if we can swim <laughs> over to this one. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to cut here and uh, I'm going to do a little bit more work on on this stuff here and then I'll be back well guys I've done a whole bunch more work off camera uh, as you can see I got all the waterfalls in I treed up the area and I am absolutely loving how this is looking we have five individual waterfalls there I uh, spent a lot of time cutting out parts of the mountain to make sure they would stay separate as they fall and I think that looks really cool and uh, yeah the trees I think really set it off against the mountain before it kind of blended in and now I just really love the way that's looking so uh, next step is to start getting going on some interior work uh, as you can see I have some paintings with me and I am not going to be uh, just decorating the walls did I hear a zombie here somewhere oh there you are yeah I'm not gonna just uh, be decorating wow it's kind of hard to navigate through these trees just decorating the walls with uh, paintings that's not what they're for uh, I what I need to do is there's a few areas here can I make that yeah no problem where uh, we have full blocks where I need to do some some lighting here outside so uh, yeah I'm gonna do a little bit of that so let's see here, uh, yeah, so this this upper edge here, this is full blocks, this is half slabs down here, these are full, so I need to do some lighting here, and uh, here's kind of what I had in mind for that, we'll go, uh, yeah, I think that'll, that'll work out okay, or maybe, maybe we'll just do one in the middle, so, uh, yeah, we'll try this first, and see how we like it. So, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, you know, the glowstone with the trap doors on it. Not really my thing. Some people like it. I don't really. But uh, here's kind of what I was going to do instead. Yeah, we'll go with uh, some stone pressure. Oh, no, wait. I don't think we can put these on top of glowstone, can we? Yeah, I don't think we can. No, you can't get that on top of glowstone. Whoops. Okay. Uh, so that part doesn't work. However, uh, well, what can I get rid of? This bow. However, uh, this is kind of what I was thinking for the sides here. We'd go... Yeah, that's the... I believe that's the exact painting I was looking for. 
So I'm just going to keep going on the sides of these paintings until I uh, get the one I want, which sh it's not too difficult. Um, so I'll just do that all four sides. And I think that ends up kind of looking like a lamp, in my opinion. A nice lamp. You know, kind of a, a modern design, maybe? I don't know. Um, I like it enough. And then maybe... Yeah, I'm not sure about the top. Uh, but yeah, I, I quite like that. Um, you know, instead of the trapdoor thing. Something a little different. It maybe doesn't suit everyone's tastes, but I think it's okay. So anywhere where I have a uh, flat space, like here, this is all spawnable. Um, luckily, there's not too much space like that. Like, this is all half slabs up here. So this is all good. These are right here are full blocks. These are full blocks. So I'm going to need something here. And, uh, yeah, I was just going to kind of do probably the same thing again. Um, I can fit one in here, I suppose. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that's, uh, hmm, I'm going to have to, I guess, maybe put the glowstone even with the floor here, of course, because I'm on a full block. Over where I lit up, it was for the sides, so the surface I was standing on was not a full block. Whew, hard to navigate around here. But, uh, yeah, you guys kind of get the idea. And then, from there, it's, uh, it's on to... Um, kind of, I guess, starting to work out the interior. So, there will be floors, like I'll put one in here, um, I'll put one in down there, one at this level, and put access between each one, but they're probably not going to see that much use. From there, where I want to go is deep down into the mountain and start putting in some things that I've wanted that, uh, maybe, oh man, can't quite make that. Maybe I haven't uh, found a good spot for yet, like the um, the snow machine, the snow golem harvesting machine that I built a few episodes ago. And uh, if if anybody's watched way way back, uh, I one time built a uh, a dispenser fed crafting room that I thought was really cool. And uh, maybe we could just go right in the corner. I, th I wished it had uh, gotten maybe a little bit more attention um, because I thought it was a really neat design and uh, but you know it's broken now um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at getting that working again and putting one of those in uh, in here somewhere geez those things are really popping off of there there we go and um, of course access up here nether portal and probably rail access maybe something to do with boats an ender pearl elevator i got tons of ideas for up here um so yeah i'm excited i'm excited about this house so i'll keep working on it yeah that's not bad at all right there and then of course let's see we get yeah right here is spawnable space so we'll probably have to do another one of those right here so I'm going to keep working on this stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. I just had to show you guys what it looks like at night. I think it's really cool with some of the lighting in place. Uh, I did a lot of the spawnable space in the house. You can see a skeleton outside there. Not too worried about him, but uh, yeah, I also wanted to show you... A little more of the terraforming I did I kind of forgot one kind of cool bit that I thought turned out really nice yeah pretty safe up here nobody gonna get me on the treetops I think where's that guy down here is he still here ah whatever um yeah let's see here oh there he is so I got yeah light there lamp there there's one in the wall there uh, down underneath stop it I've got some accent lighting underneath to show off the water at night quit it quit it alright I'm gonna just avoid him here and oh, okay and let's see what else here right the terraforming uh, well I can show you from inside here so 
this whole back here used to be embedded in the ground where these windows are and so I kind of had to work something out there um, yeah up there and uh, around the side so what I ended up doing is yeah, let's go out here and I can jump up to this roof thank god for jump boost made this build tons easier oh yeah some lighting there I think that'll be all right just like that and yeah you can see back here we got nice open air to these windows uh, to this little kind of balcony here and up there you can see these were the chests I was working from and uh, the crafting bench and these used to be sitting on flat mountaintop hey no 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 this is my house Stop it. And uh, yeah, this used to be sitting on flat mountaintop, and I had to kind of cut it down all along here. A lot of dirt came out of there. And uh, I think it turned out really nice. I think it's a uh, you know, pretty good terraforming job. I'm not sure if I missed some blocks here. I'll have to check my, uh, my model for that. But uh, yeah, I may have, may need to take this sandstone down to the ground, but uh, I'll do that on my own in a minute but uh yeah i i'm just really liking this a lot so uh here let me get back out to the crafting bench and the chest there and uh i'll grab some materials so i was thinking inside maybe quartz floors um i might grab some quartz and try that out uh i was also thinking maybe stone slab flooring um, the problem is I'm not going to be able to be completely consistent with the uh, the look of the flooring um, and the, the ceilings in here in all likelihood just because uh, of the scale I'm working with it wasn't wasn't super easy to whoops to get this scale to work here but uh, you know it, it's pretty darn close but then yeah as you can see yeah, I put a floor there and then I end up with kind of a funny looking ceiling here and I guess yeah I can walk under that but that's a really low ceiling so I'll have to figure out what I'm doing there I probably will bring the ceiling down on this part at least just so I don't have so many different looks but um, yeah this whole front part of the building is mostly gonna be a facade I'll, I'll have usable balconies of course um, and uh, yeah I could be able to watch the is it sunrise sunrises in the uh, east yeah so I think I get to see sunrises out this window this nice front window here but uh, other than that not really super usable space but um, that's fine Ooh, I can make that jump and um yeah so I'll do some interior work here and we'll be back again well I've uh, done quite a bit of interior work done some lighting up inside uh, and I think I got what is this axe okay we'll take this with us I'm gonna officially move my bed up to the new house but yeah I did a lot of uh, a lot of interior work um, got everything in that really really compact build accessible so there's a uh, you know three floors um, it's not perfect but uh, I think it's a pretty good job so let's do a quick little tour here oh that was a good toss oh okay so this I guess is kind of like a little uh, I don't know I don't know what this part is for in the actual house but it exists uh, so yeah, we'll start here, um, and then from here, we will go right over to here. So, this is like a, I'm not sure what this part is either. In the actual house, there's kind of a little water feature in one corner. Um, didn't really have a whole lot of room for that, so I left that part out, but we can uh, go up here. We have some lighting embedded in the wall there, up the stairs. Uh, here is one balcony up here we can get a good view of the water some trees a little bit of 14 Wall Street 
a uh, little bit of Venice over there um, you can't jump over this railing it's too 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 short but that's all right it's all accessible from there we can go inside here's access down to this part uh, we have another balcony here uh, so there's one more there there's one above here that we're gonna get to and here we have a low ceiling made of quartz I just wanted to uh, have this one nice ceiling in this part but it's very very short in here so then we continue back and obviously this is all unfinished here this too I have put in this kind of uh, pillar here and I guess that um, it will do nicely to kind of maybe separate go down into the mountain this way down into the mountain this way maybe this is sharper I'm not sure yet but uh, yeah this is to kind of hide some uh, features of the building just above us um, over here we got you know some windows can look out here see Venice here too a little bit kind of obstructed that's all right here is where I put the uh, staircase so right in the corner where this glass is so you get a nice look out from the staircase one balcony there um, Venice again you get a nice view of Venice from a lot of this house so we got kind of some some uh, railings here I thought that looks okay you know fairly contemporary modern uh, we come up here and we have access right out here to this balcony that we could see from down there uh, so this is all functional. We get a good view of the Calgary Tower from here, and uh, some beacons, top of the Campanile, 14 Wall Street. This is a good balcony here, actually. Uh, back here, we just have a little window, and uh, you know, obviously, we can get on top of the mountain. So, hopefully, not too many mobs wander in through this door. Uh, from here, we can wait. We saw. Did we see? No, we didn't see this part. Uh, so yeah, we come up these stairs uh, this way to one balcony around the back of the stairs here. It's a little tight, but um, kind of the best I could do given the circumstances. So it's uh, all right with me. We'll come out onto this balcony. We got this kind of, I don't know what you call this, kind of a pergola, I guess. The sun shade for down there. Uh, so there was one balcony there, there's one down there, we were just over there, this one's accessible too, this is a good view as well. And from here, we can continue upward uh, into this last small, small little area with uh, one last balcony here. You can see out onto the rooftop there, and not a great view from here, but that's okay. Uh, a few more railings here so that is about it that is uh, the inside of the facade of my n brand new falling water home on the server here and uh, to finish this off here uh, to christen it as our new home I'm gonna throw down the bed and obviously it's a little bit too noon to sleep right now so uh, I'm gonna cut here wait for it to be nighttime and I'll be back okay guys sun's gone down time to set my spawn in here and okay sleeping and done and oh you know I wanted to show the place at night again um hmm Darn, I should have done it before I slept. Um, huh, okay, well, I guess we'll see that next time. Um, but, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today's episode. I spent a lot of time working on this place so far and a lot left to do. Um, but, yeah, I think it's looking really great and I am quite pleased with it. And maybe we can finish off with one more look from over on the mountaintop there. Oh, overshot it just a little bit and oh I'm just I'm really liking it uh, <laughs> I don't know something about it with the trees and stuff it just looks really really cool so um, yeah I hope you guys like this episode a little bit um, artsy fartsy maybe 
I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.